Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to Ubuntu 22.04 virtual machine on Azure Cloud. Connect to Azure portal, then click on Microsoft Azure, then in search resources search for virtual machines. Click on this virtual machines. See, at present I don't have any virtual machines. Click on create or click on this create. Both are same. Click on it, then select the Azure virtual machine. Here, subs subscription, if you are on free trial, you have to select the free, but mine is paid one. No need to worry, either is fine. Then next, resource group. From the drop down, you can select the resource group. But if you want to create new resource group, you have to click on this create new group. Click on this create new. Okay. Then virtual machine name. See, image is Ubuntu, so I am giving Ubuntu 20. 20, 22, 04. Then select the region. See, we have different regions. It is recommended to select the your local region. I am going with US East. Availability options. I am going with availability zone, but you can select any one of them. Availability zones. I am going with only one. That is zone 1. Not all zones. Okay. If you want, you can select all. By but I don't want go okay, click on C zone one then security type I'm going with standard then here we have to select then image here we have to select the Ubuntu machine click on drop down C we have Ubuntu 20 Ubuntu server 20 to 0 for LTS if you are unable to find here scroll down click on the C all images or just click on C all images then search for Ubuntu. See, here we have the Ubuntu. If you are unable to find here also, just type here Ubuntu. See, we have different versions. This is the minimal. If you want to go with the server, you have to select this one. I am going with this Ubuntu server 2204. See, this is the overview. See, these are the, we want to click on, see, these are the features. For Ubuntu, Ubuntu Pro and Ubuntu Pro with support. Okay, close this one. Close this one. Select it. Then here we have Gen 1 or Gen 2. I am going with Gen 2. Then C. We have selected the Ubuntu Server 2204 LTS. Then select the architecture ARM or x64. Then select the size. Size of the RAM and vCPUs. C. We have these. But if you want to see all sizes, click on see all sizes, then select any one of them based on your requirement. But I am going with one CPU, one vCPU and 3.5 gigabytes. Then select it. Then authentication type. Here we have two types, SSH public key and password. I am going with password method. Here provide the username. I am giving username as demo user. Then provide the password. See, password must not be empty and it is between 12 to 24 characters okay give the password it must contain small upper number and special character then next inbound rules see ssh code double two if you want to check this http also you can select them then click on next disk size the default is 30 gigabytes os disk type Premium SSD, SSD, we have different one. I am going with standard SSD. Based on the disk types, charges will be changed. Okay. On this, see here the delete with VM. See, if you delete the VM, OS disk will also be removed or deleted. Then click on next or click on advanced. Okay. Click on next. That is networking. I am going with the default ones. Okay. Here again, we see RDP is for the windows so no need to select click on next click on next again click on advanced if you want to provide any custom data here you have to provide otherwise click on next i am not going to provide any tax here if you want to provide tax it you can provide then click on review and create see this is the cost per hour that is five rupees that is almost six rupees per hour here if you want to modify see this is the summary of the this Ubuntu virtual machine on Azure. See here the 
image ubuntu server again if you want to modify you have to click on this previous previous then you can modify and you can come forward if you are okay with all these settings click on create See, it is creating these resources. Once deployment is success, our resource is created, we will get the pop-up. Still, it is deployment is in progress. See, your deployment is completed. Click on this go to resource. Also message here, deployment succeeded. See, virtual Machine status is running. Wait, here you will get the public IP. If you are unable to find, you have to click on refresh. See, this is the public IP of this Ubuntu 22.04 server. Now go to home, virtual machines. See here, we have the virtual machine. Click on it. See here, over you, status is running, data will be populated here. See, you have installed Linux Ubuntu 22.04. You want to restart the virtual machine, you have to click on this one. If you want to stop, you have to click on this stop button. If you want to delete, you have to click on delete. If you want to refresh, you have to click on this refresh button. See, this is the public IP, virtual network and other information. See, we have the more information like virtual machine, networking, size, disk and all. Okay. Now, we will see how to connect. Click on this connect or copy this public IP. Then open PuTTY. If you want to install PuTTY, then install it. It is free. Then paste that IP. Click on open. Click on accept. Then provide the username. It is demo user. Provide the password that we have provided at the time of dating Ubuntu or machine. See, we have connected to Ubuntu machine. Let me maximize. Let us verify. Control L to clear screen. Let us verify the Ubuntu version. More slash etc OS hyphen release. See, we have installed Ubuntu 22.04 and it is Jummy Jellyfish. See here the version also. So, if you want to exit, you have to click on exit. If you want to restart, you have to click on restart. Now go to virtual machines if you are not using the virtual machine then it is recommended to select it and stop because based on the usage azure will be charging the prices okay i'm not going to use click on stop click on s again if you are permanently not using you have to click on this delete see if you last click click on this post apply post delete then provide the delete then we have to click click on this delete button so if you are not using, it is recommended to delete the virtual machine. This is the confirmation. Click on delete. In your case, if you are using, then don't delete. Just I am telling the how to delete the virtual machine. So in this video, we have seen how to create and connect to Ubuntu 22.04 LTS virtual machine on Azure Cloud. For more Azure or DevOps videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.